Hey folks, this is Brad Stuckey, and I'm excited to be here to share with you a little bit of the things that I've learned from this particular theorist. I signed up for Yuri Bronfenbrenner and his bioecological theory of child development. And we've talked about this a little bit already in class, and so I'm excited to build on what we've already talked about. So here we go. I'd like to uh, start by sharing a little bit of the overview of what Bronfenbrenner taught and what he studied. And his work focuses on the development of the child with their environment. And so it shows um, how the child interacts with different systems and different people and how it affects them to become who they end up being, who their individual person is. And so we'll go ahead and we'll just jump right into it. Okay, so the first system is the microsystem. And this is the most simple. It is the child's interactions with their family, with their peers. It is their individual personal relationships that they have with one another that shape them into who they are and who they become. And so an example of this would be just the child learning from their parents or from their teachers um, and maybe them picking up their different social cues their laugh it could be just observing the parent or listening to what they say and copying those same standards and so it's just the interaction between those two the child and the parents or the child and their teachers the child and their friends that helps them develop into their individual person Okay, so the next one. Oh, so actually, every time we talk about a system, I'm just going to lay down a line that has the def definition of it, and I'll just reiterate what it says. And so the microsystem is just an interaction or support between the individual and their direct relationship, like their parents. So the next system is the mesosystem. And this one is it's a system of microsystems. And so a microsystem, that's like the parents, um, the friends, the teachers, and the mesosystem is the interaction between these two microsystems. And the results of those affects the child positively or negatively. So here's an example of the mesosystem. In this post, you see that their friends and you put them together with the parents, like maybe they come over, and if they have a negative reaction, if they disapprove of the friends, a result in the top part where the child will be sad, they may have a negative development. Um, they push it against the parents, and maybe have negative feelings towards the parents. Um, whereas the bottom, if the parents approve of the friends, there's a positive development where the child trusts the parents more, trusts the friends more, and this is positive altogether. Um, and so that's an example of the meso system and how the different microsystems interact to affect the child. And so that's the meso system is the interaction between different microsystems that affect the child. The exosystem is the next step up, up from being further away from the child. And so if you look to the second line, it describes what the exosystem is. It is people or places that children may not directly interact with, but still impact their lives. And so an example of this is the community, the neighborhood they grow up in, the government, the church, the parents' workplace. Um, and so here are examples. And so the example of an exosystem, um, the top one is a great example. It's a father who is continually passed up for a promotion by an indifferent boss at the workplace who may take it out on his child and mistreat them at home. And so the child never interacted with the parent's workplace, but received the results of the stress and anger from the parent. And so that's what an exosystem is. And the bottom one talks about a mother leaves to go to the military and the child develops anxiety, even though she's never been to her parents' uh, workplace, never, never doesn't know why their parents are leaving. And so that's the result of the exosystem. And so the exosystem is something, an interaction setting that does not involve the child, but still affects them. Okay, and so the next one is the macro system and is described as the effects of larger principles defined by the macro system. And so that's like cultural values, religious values, customs and laws, and I guess also it includes the mass media. So an example of that is culture. Um, culture is a collection of beliefs, customs, and arts, and people who live in those customs are expected to live certain ways. 
And so the macro system affects the child because of those cultures, because of what they're expected to live, and that affects who they become and the development of that child. So like an example I use is the societal culture where the father's the breadwinner when that's not really the case it is now, but it still affects the child to maybe want to be that breadwinner um, and not allow his wife to provide for their family. And so the macro system is just the effects of culture, religious beliefs, the views and lifestyle of a child. Uh, and so it helps develop that child to, to become who they are. The last one is the chrono system, and this one relates to time. And so it's the passage of time or the time and era that they live in that affects the child, uh, like wartime depression, being a baby boomer, quote unquote, the Gen Z millennials, and that depiction affects how the child is seen and how also how they, they live. Um, and like an example of that is um, the Great Depression. I My grandmother lived around the time of the Great Depression right after, um, and she grew up never throwing anything away and that she find every little use of every single item that she bought to use and use until it wore out. And so that is an example of the chrono system and how the time and era that you live in affects who you are and how you what you become. And so that's the chrono system is the effect of time on the child, the influence of time. And so now that we understand all this, how does it affect our teaching? Um, and one of the articles I found, it says, by studying the various ecological systems, Bronfenbrenner's ecological systems theory is able to demonstrate the diversity of interrelated influences on children's development. Awareness of the context that children are in can sensitize us to variations in the way children may act in different settings. And so as a teacher, as we're aware of how the child's development may be influenced by these different systems, we can do a better job in teaching and being aware of our, our students so that we can be the best teacher that we can, that we can give them individualized teaching that will help the student. And so that's what I got from Bronfenbrenner's uh, theory, and I hopefully it, it helps you as well um, in helping to individualize your students teaching to help them to have the best education and development that they can have. And so here, a bibliography, and I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. So thank you.